What up? And what up, people that are learning? Um, so we are going to talk about how to put things in slope intercept form. And uh, this is with a weird one, okay? So this is a weird problem. It's not your normal, hey, put this in slope form. This is something that you're going to see less frequently. So um, let's start with our uh, slope intercept form. Y equals MX plus B. Plug in what you know to find what you don't know, okay? So what do we know? Anybody? Slope. Slope. We know it's zero. So slope is there. So I'm going to plug in y equals zero times x plus b. Right off the bat, we know something weird is happening right here, okay? Because we usually don't put zero in for slope. And uh, it's like you said earlier, um, was you're going to have a, either a vertical or vertical or horizontal line, all right? And you, your thought process is, oh, I would assume it's probably going to be vertical because, or it's horizontal because if it's vertical, it's undefined, okay? Um, and, you know, that wouldn't work. So let's go ahead and solve it. We know these two fractions, which if anyone ever gives you a problem like this on purpose, that means they don't love you because nobody likes fractions and therefore they gave you not only two fractions, but a weird slope. So let's plug them in and find it. To find our B, which is what our goal is, is to find that B right there because that way we can complete this equation. We have to plug in our x and our y. I like to uh, label these, that way I don't get mixed up. So x goes in for x, so y equals zero. This feels a little bit useless to type this in here. Why does it feel useless? Why does it feel useless to type that x in? Because it's going to equal zero. Because it's going to be multiplied by zero. And then our y, negative nine over two. Zero times that is? Zero. So we go, say bye. Bye. All right, and so B equals negative 9 over 2. So I know here in my equation I can make this negative 9 over 2, and we have that. Now that's not pretty. They don't like the way that looks. Y equals, if it's 0 times X, they don't even want to see it. So get rid of that, and then negative 9 over 2. And I know it doesn't feel like it, but this is how they want you to write your slope-intercept form. Okay, and you're thinking, well, it doesn't even have the M and the X. Correct. But whenever they present this, that person would know this is the equation of that line. Okay, you're not just telling someone this is what Y is. You, they would understand this is the equation of that line. Yes, ma'am. So, hold on. When you move it over, though, don't you add it? You would, but we don't have to move it over because we're trying to figure out what B is. And once we canceled all that out, we just, it tells us what B is. So, good question. Great question. Okay, and that's the equation. Boom. And so whenever we plot that, um, one of the ways to plot it is people are like, okay, we'll just pick out points and put them in. This is a wobbly. We know our y's are always going to be what? Negative. Negative 9 over 2, which if I, I like stuff as decimals, what's that as a decimal? <laughs> Correct. Negative 4.5. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> and so we know it's always going to be negative 4.5. Okay? So what do we want our x's to be? Doesn't matter. It's always y equals that. Okay, so that's why it looks like a straight line. So x, we go over 0, down 4.5. Um, we go over 1, down 4.5. We go back 3, down 4.5. And that's what our line looks like. Sound good? Mm -hmm. It's the equation of that line. 